ready for this one it's gonna be a great video the target Phil Taylor power 95 gen 5 darts review begins right now ah, well the points stick in good what's up guys worldwide here we have an incredible video for you today I hope you enjoyed it so far but in today's video we'll be taking a close-up look at the target Phil Taylor Power 9.5 Gen 5 darts. Now, you're probably wondering, well, how come I'm reviewing these things right now? Well, consider this a warm up for the Generation 8 video that's coming here in a couple days. And, you know, I had to look around YouTube. That other guy, he never reviewed these things. And actually, I actually had a message probably about a month ago from a subscriber that said, hey, can you review these things? So, yeah, that leads us here to today. I'm going to review these things. And then, like I said, in a couple days, Keep an eye out for that Generation 8 review. That's going to be a pretty good one. So all sorts of new Target goodie reviews coming soon, but I won't keep you waiting any longer. What do you see? We grab the other camera over here. We'll take a close-up look at these things, stats and dimensions, and then my favorite part of the video, I get to throw these things for a bit, and I'm going to give you some feedback on what I think of the Phil Taylor Gen 5 darts. And uh, yeah, let's go from here. So here we go, guys. Okay guys, you ready for this one? The Phil Taylor Power 9.5 Gen 5s. The box, a little fancier than normal. We've got this fold-out section here. Phil's picture and a picture of his dart. As you see there, on the back you've just got a description, breakdown of all the details of the dart, but I won't bore you with that. But you know, it's funny, every time I get a set of Phil Taylor darts, I forget just how tiny these things are. I mean, they're just ridiculously small, incredibly short, in these flights. Look how tiny those things are, just incredibly small flights. But what do you say we get a little bit closer look and we'll go over some stats and dimensions. Okay guys, there we go. These things came fully assembled and check out the front end here. Just an amazing set of barrels and all sorts of things going on. Up front we've got the black diamond pro points. For the stems we've got the Gen 5 titanium power shafts. And in the back end, we've got these minuscule Ultra Ghost flights. But writing down some stats and dimensions, these are a 95% tungsten barrel. The barrel length coming in at a really short, 47.1 millimeters long. And the barrel width right here in the front end of the barrel, kind of chunky, 7.8 millimeters wide. Now these are advertised as 26 grams, and that's what it said on the Target warranty card. If I show you that, 26.0 grams. And uh, sure enough, I put the first two barrels on the scale. They came out perfect, 26.00 grams. I threw the third barrel on the scale, 26.08 grams. So a little bit off there, but in all reality, with all this machining, that is some pretty excellent match weighting. As long as it's under one-tenth of a gram, I'm okay with it. It's something you'll never notice. But there we go. Let you see we get a little closer look at these beautiful barrels. Okay, let's get a little bit closer look, and there's so much going on with all the details here. I hope I can remember it all, but up front, look at all the machining on that. Now, that's what Target calls trapezoidal grip. They borrowed that from the Elysian darts that came out right before these things. So we've got the gold-coated, gold PVD-coated gold PVD front end. On the back end, we've got this sandblasted smooth section. You see there the Phil Taylor signature. We give that a little 180 degree spin. We've got the Target logo here. But you know what? Even with all this machining, I would probably only say it's a level three grip on a scale of one to five. It's not really all that grippy. And of course, this back section, not grippy at all. Probably like a level one grip. But overall, yeah, level three grip. 
absolutely beautiful though, stunning. Up front, again, the diamond pro points, black diamond pro points. Those are gonna hold in the board really well. And on the back end, these tiny flights. You know what, for the throwing part of the video, I'm actually not gonna use the original flights. I happen to have a set of the Phil Taylor Vision Edge flights. So I'm gonna use those instead. I think the darts are gonna throw a little bit better. And you know what, the entire dart, as you see it right here, 28.4 grams. So this thing is a tank. I'm not really sure how they're gonna fly being that heavy. I mean, that um, titanium Gen 5 stem adds quite a bit of weight. But yeah, let's get these things on the board and we'll see how they fly. I kind of hate to group these things together. It's just such a beautiful dart, but I guess it's going to be done. So yeah, here we go, guys. All right, here we go. Let's have a few throws with the Phil Taylor Gen 5 darts. What a strange combination here, guys. Have any of you, well, I guess I can ask you guys, have any of you ever thrown a dart this heavy near 28 and a half grams for the total dart weight? with flights this small, it's just, it's so bizarre. They get to the board in such a hurry, but then they plow into the dartboard just like a ton of bricks. I mean, these things are hitting the dartboard so, so hard, as you're about to see here. And I'm getting some kind of random angles of entry. Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, now look at that third dart though. It's standing up, and then the flight is kicking way to the left. And yeah, these points are sticking in the board really, really well. But yeah, to be honest, I've been warming up here probably, probably five minutes. And um, yeah, the, the angles of entry are just kind of blowing my mind. They're, they're all over the place, sometimes tail down, sometimes tail up, pointing to the left. I'm having a really hard time. I mean, that was a nice score to start with. That one was perfect. But yeah, if you don't throw these things ever so perfectly, they, yeah, look at the third dart again. I mean, two perfectly straight darts, and then that third one is standing up with a flight pointing way to the left. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't know. But um, yeah, no sharp edges on these things. Pretty much right in the middle, level, level three grip. They do come off the fingertips clean, but I don't know. I'm just really struggling with these things. I think a lot has to do with the weight. I don't know. I mean, I like the dart, but as far as throwing it, I'm not a fan. There it is, standing up. And you guys know my darts generally don't stand up no matter what I do. So yeah, this is really strange. Hey, at least they're going straight, but now that I said they're going straight, I'll hit a five for sure. Oh, huh? no. Nope. There it is, standing up again. Cover. Wow, that one was loud. <laughs> I will hit you with a negative though. These things are such beautiful darts. The black coating on the back end Man, it's taken a beating. Already there's some pretty good scuffs on the back end. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna take a picture of this back end. I'll put the picture up right there. But yeah, there's some pretty good scuffs. It's just such a shame to see nice darts scuff up this easily. But yeah, let's do, uh, let's do one more here. That one's, that one's standing up. Bizarre for a dart to stand up. Like that was small flights. <laughs> I did throw them pretty well though, right? Well, hey, we'll take it. I think that may have been plus 100. Yeah, I think that was a couple 140s. Not too bad, but um, really strange darts. I'm having, I know when I throw like that, I mean, that was pretty good throwing, but it is, there's just bizarre angles. I, and that happened throughout warm-ups. I just can't quite figure these things out. Normally, you guys know I have a really straight, direct throw. These darts have a mind of their own. I don't know if it's just me, but there it is, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video so far, but hey, you know what we're gonna do. I have one more video coming, and, or not one more video, one more clip. Here we go. Boom!
get in there. Gotta be honest with you guys, with 7.8 millimeter wide darts, not the easiest 180 to hit, although I've been recording for eight minutes, nine seconds, 10, 11. So yeah, a little over eight minutes to get a uh, 180 with these things. And to be honest, if you look at that, none of the darts are really touching right there at all. So plenty of room. Phil Taylor makes it look so, so easy with the darts this wide. And uh, me personally, I just struggle with a really wide dart. But uh, there we go, guys. Great place to end the video. I hope you enjoyed a close up look at the target. Phil Taylor, Power 9.5, Gen 5s. And like I said before, this is a great warm up to some upcoming Target videos that we have planned here next week. So stay tuned for those. Make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss them. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Thumbs up are always appreciated. Hey, how about a thumbs up for a 180 with 7.8 millimeter wide darts? I would appreciate that. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.